let's dive right in to a project that has uncertain durations. Let's say we're building out a website and we have 10 pages that need to be completed. Page one could be product one, then we have product two, then we have the shopping cart page, then we have the legal page. These 10 pages are being created in parallel by 10 separate teams. And it's the easiest kind of project to imagine because there's no, you don't have to finish this one before you do this one, but there are these 10 teams. And of course, you're uncertain how long it will take for each team to finish. But you can't go live until all 10 teams are done. So what typically happens now is the boss walks in and says, when do we go live? And you typically say, I don't know boss because I don't know how long team one will take or team two or team three. And then the boss will say something like, give me a number. And uh, I, I don't know if any of your organizations use that phrase, but uh, give me a number. Is the fork in the road to hell? Let's just remember what we have here. Each of these times to completion is uncertain, but everybody agrees that on average, each one will take six weeks. Given that, what's the chance of finishing in six weeks? So 100%, 50%, taking a while for this poll to uh, fill in. Okay, we have a winner. And uh, so the winner is 50%. Oh, that's not right, by the way, but it is the winner. It had uh, almost double what the others did. Okay, so let's move on now, uh, and let me explain that the actual answer is one in a thousand. And it, it's not just enough to know that it's one in a thousand, which most of you didn't, uh, but you've got to be able to explain it to a 10-year-old or your boss. So look at it this way. The only way in which this project finishes in six weeks or less, is if all 10 of these finish in six weeks or less. And if you imagine that each one had a 50-50 chance of being greater or less than six weeks, then that's like flipping 10 heads in a row on a coin, which is actually 1,024, but hey, I will live with one in 1,000. The bulk of people in our little poll said, oh yeah, 50-50 chance will be done within six weeks when there's a one in a thousand chance of being done in six weeks. That's actually not close enough even for government work. This is what I call the flaw of averages. Here's another cartoon from my book. This is a statistician drowning in a river that's on average three feet deep. The flaw of averages states that plans based on average assumptions are wrong on average. And let me say this is based on a well-known mathematical principle called Jensen's inequality, but even most mathematicians haven't heard of that. So it, it, it is a very important topic and it requires some public relations for people to understand it. So let me give you another more sobering example. Consider a drunk wandering back and forth on a busy highway. His average position is the center line. The state of the drunk at his average position is alive, but on average, he's dead. Again, not close enough even for government work. Now, because this is really a public relations campaign on my part, I've come up with an audio logo for the flaw of averages. Everyone know what an audio logo is? This is the audio logo for Intel. I'm sure you all recognize that. So here's the audio logo for the flaw of averages. 